This is the rolling pwn attack. So mm -hmm. this is against modern vehicles equipped with a remote keyless entry system and also using a rolling code. So do you know what a rolling code is? Basically what the name implies that it's a, um, like an algorithm that generates uh, a code that's unique for each time it's used. So that way it makes it harder to do things like replay attacks, uh, such as like old garage door openers would use a single like authentication code or a pin that would be uh, used over and over and over. And so if you just lit recorded that attack, you could replay the attack and open the garage door. Uh, so rolling code is supposed to defeat that. However, there have been man in the middle type attacks before where you like relay the code um, as it's rolling or you're able to capture and store several rolling codes that are still valid um, and other attacks like that. I have to be totally honest here. The description here has a little bit of um, strange English in some parts that <laughs> make it t a, a tiny bit difficult for me to understand exactly how this is working. So overall, the, the problem here seems to be the vehicle receiver, even though it's designed to prevent replay attacks, will accept a sliding window of codes to avoid accidental key presses by design. And then by sending the commands in a consecutive sequence to Honda vehicles, it will be resynchronizing the counter. So basically setting it back over so older codes can be used again. So it looks like what's happening here is by being able to reset the counter on this rolling code, they're able to then use the same different codes that have been used in the past that should be kind of locked out or no longer valid, but for some reason are being enabled again. So they, um, in lieu of showing exactly how it works technically, they've mm -hmm. opted to take many videos of them just <laughs> doing this okay. on various vehicles. And you can see here, this is working against a Honda CRV. Um, you can see it working against a Honda Accord. You can see it against a Honda Odyssey and a Honda XRV. So um, really, really interesting mm -hmm. stuff here because this controls, for example, getting into the vehicle and getting direct physical access to the rest of the hardware. So if you oh. know how to start a Honda once you're inside it, or if this could potentially extend to starting the vehicle as well, then uh, that's a pretty serious issue. Mm -hmm. Now, where the subtext on this particular disclosure is, uh, is that it looks like they've reached out to Honda and Honda really does not plan to do much about problems with older models of cars. They're not really in the business of security. And as far as they were able to see, there is no actual mm -hmm. security team to deal with problems like this at Honda. So um, here's where this gets interesting. When asked why they call this rolling pwn and not Honda pwn, because the bug may exist in other brands of vehicles too. Winky, Winky face. face. So here's my theory. I think that this is actually an extremely mm -hmm. widespread bug. And in fact, Honda is the only one that's just been like, we don't care and we're not mm -hmm. gonna do anything to fix it. Mm. It probably exists that there's other manufacturers who are now aware of this bug and that are somewhere in the disclosure process, which is why no proof of concepts and no other information mm -hmm. is very carefully uh, being uh, released. I would say it's probably going to be in the news fairly soon that mm -hmm. this bug actually impacts like a much broader range of vehicles than is currently being disclosed. And that's why it's interesting to see that this proof of concept, while kind of quietly released, is still probably going to be something that's disclosed and maybe on, be on like the more conventional mm -hmm. news later on when it's revealed that like many, 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 many other vehicles are also vulnerable to this. So um, obviously being able to get unauthorized access to a vehicle is pretty serious. And the fact that this exists and will probably not be fixed on basically every modern Honda mm -hmm. vehicle with keyless entry is a huge problem because I own two. So um, yeah, that's pretty discouraging to hear. And uh, I guess we'll have to see how many other vehicles end up being impacted by this bug.